on the streets and is begging. I'm thinking you've got a Heavily. good brain. You're always being insulted. We didn't know who took her, what happened to her. I feel that the justice system has failed my daughter's life. If they would have done that right away, sentencing him, they would have done that to her. The community leaders knew, but did nothing. There's still a lot of questions that are in our minds and may never be answered, unfortunately. There was a time when uh, many tribes starved to death. There was hunger, there was famine, and a couple of young warriors were sent out to look for food. They saw off to the distance a figure uh, moving towards them, a very uh, a beautiful woman dressed in white walking towards them. And she was a little girl that I know that she was always happy and always trying to do something for somebody, like for her grandma and stuff like that. And that's how she was. We were really, really close. Eh? Like, there's a lot of things we did together. And after she bought her car, there was things that was going wrong with her car. But she wanted to do the work. And I was just a person just to talk her through it, like change a starter, an alternator, change oil. And these are things she wanted to do. And she'd come to me and I'd tell her, okay, well, put on my coverall. You know what to do, my girl. It's a ceremonial function. And um, I think a lot of it has to do with uh, the innocence and the spirituality and, and the, the spirituality that the family holds, I guess, you know, are, are looked upon as factors when, when the young, young women are chosen, young girls are chosen to do that function. She brought in that sacred, that sacred pipe into our ceremony and she was dressed so beautiful. She had her long hair and her white dress and her white shawl and her moccasins that she danced in. Last time I seen her with, was at this table, the night she left. We were just finished having supper. <sighs> we sat here with our kids, and then a car honked. And we were just finishing supper and, oh, my ride is here, he says. And I told her, what ride, I told her. He says, uh, we're gonna go out for the night, he said. So the young guy came in, a little Redmond boy, Tommy was his name. And uh, I told her, you're not taking your car out, my girl? And he said, nope, we'll leave the keys here. When was the last thing you ever said to That morning, it's the year after work. And as she came closer to the warriors, one of them uh, had bad thoughts, thoughts of, of taking her for himself. She called out to the one with the bad thoughts and said, uh, I know 
what it is that you want. She said, come. She beckoned to him and, and the one with the bad thoughts went. This mysterious fog came down and uh, engulfed him. And when that fog lifted, the man with the bad thoughts lay um, just bones on the ground. Call you National Enquirer, mother And then I heard uh, somebody was really walking out outside. And I said to my husband, you better check, there's somebody there. And just as we were walking from out of the kitchen to the porch, the shot came through the kitchen window. He, he didn't have a very long criminal record. And while they were serious convictions, uh, lots of people have that kind of record in the province, lots of people, and they're not eligible for dangerous offender status. As much as an ordinary person looking at it may think they should be, they're not. Do you ever feel totally safe now? No. What kind of, how does that affect how you live? It's a joke to me that sealing a healing thing sentence is a bunch of crap if you ask me. I feel that the justice system has failed my daughter's life in not designating Albert Belgard as a dangerous offender. RCMP searchers and volunteers are looking for missing right. teenager Amber Redman. Dozens of friends and families still search the area. They've circulated posters just like this one across Saskatchewan at all of the First Nations and across Canada. Redman was last seen talking to someone in an old grey sedan outside Trapper's Bar in Fort Capel. After that, police are not sure where Amber went, but are following every clue they receive. Every second of the day, there was thoughts racing through my mind. You know, is she being felled? Is she being held against her will? Is she being raped? Is she being beaten? But yeah, the worst is, is not knowing where she was. <laughs> 